Good day, everybody! This is B.A. Ready and Dawn, and we are back with another back-to-back -back daily upload, apparently. To be uh, honest, yes. I've been streaming Engage for the past little while, finally finished that game, so now I can get back to doing videos for you guys. Uh, yesterday's video was talking about the Hero Rises voting uh, gauntlet, and the um, Edelgard stomps, and the monocolor shenanigans. And uh, today's video is going to be uh, a bit more, uh, not necessarily a bit more chill, but a, a bit more um, analytical, I suppose. Because uh, today we're going to be looking at the updates that were announced. And oh boy, do we got some stuff to cover. And just like yesterday, alongside me, we have Toasty Baruka. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing okay. Woo! <laughs> I'm here again because, you know, like, we had such an interesting conversation from the previous video, so... Oh, yeah. We yeah. had fun, though. That was great. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm ready for this update. I, I've seen some of the part of the update, and I think it looks okay, especially those divine codes. Ooh, but we're, we're going to enjoy talking about oh, that. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. That's, like, the highlight of this update, man. Everything else is mid. I don't care about everything anything else. I just care about that. But... We still have to cover it for you guys, so let's get into it. So first off, we got the remixes for Celica and oh, for Celica and Mila. So first off, these aren't bad overall. Like Mila gets Dragon Wall three as her new skill. That's inheritable, so that's pretty mm -hmm. solid. Dragon Wall is a great skill overall. Although with so much damage reduction piercing now, it doesn't really matter too much, but hey, it's still nice to look at. <laughs> and then we got Celica at the bottom of the screen there. We're getting Attack Speed Menace, which is one of the best menaces, in my opinion. Or the yeah. best menace. So, like, this is pretty damn good. Do you have Mila or Celica? I have Celica, and not Mila, though. Okay. Well, let's take a look at uh, what Celica's getting first, because I think she's getting a better remix anyway. At yeah, least, at least in terms of what she what she's getting for uh, like for her upgrade. Because we don't know about refines yet, but not at the making of this video anyway. Uh, so Soul of Zofia 2 basically gives her null follow-up completed. Completely. Just straight-up null follow-up, which is fucking fantastic on a unit like her. Uh, and if she initiates combat, she just gets un unconditional desperation. So, because you can't stop her follow-ups, and she can make a follow-up before the focus counterattack, she will double you before you can even strike back. So, more than likely, you're going to be dead before you can counterattack. <laughs> and then she also gets, like, an HP conditional, but it's 20, over 25% or over, which is pretty damn good. Like, typically, if she's below 25%, she's dead. So... This is pretty good. Uh, inflict speed minus 5 on foe reduces... So it's damage reduction... Reductioning in half. It reduces damage reduction. I'm gonna call it RDR. So it's RDR oh. 50%. Oh, I see how it works. So basically, like, they, so let's say, for example, 40. 40%, like, 40% and 23%... Of, oh, like, I see the example right there. 45% of the skill would be reduced to 23% instead, so... You get more damage, so you, they still get the damage reduction, but it's less. It's I halved. See. So no matter how much damage reduction yeah. they have, it's halved. So which is nice. interesting because like, does that mean that Celica is the only one who could, or one of the only ones who can actually take out Yune when she has 100% damage reduction? Because now it's only 50. Because <laughs> Yune's damage reduction is not a special. So if Yune has 100% damage reduction, it's getting cut down to 50. Hat <laughs> low. Technically, I think Yune can hit 106. So that means that she's still taking almost 50% of the damage. Damn, dude. Crazy. Crazy, yep. Uh, so, but like, all in all, Soul of Zofia 2 is a hell of an upgrade. This is, this is, this is crazy. And Mila gets Mila's turn wheel too. So unfortunately, it doesn't grant an extra turn in Ether Raids, which is kind of funny. I would I would, I would have laughed if they put the grant's turn limit plus 2. That would have been funny as hell. But no, instead all they gave was uh, Grant's foe cannot make a follow-up attack to unit for one turn and inflicts 
Guard as well as Isolation. Which is not bad. I mean, a status effect guard is pretty solid because now enemies can't really do specials as, easy, as easily, so that's pretty solid. Isolation's always fun in Aether Raids. I don't really play Aether Raids. Ah, I, I yes, ah, yes, Isolation, my favorite skill. Silence Dancer. Silence, Silence Dancer. dancer. It's like that crab meme, but it would like silence the answer. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, no, like, the Mill's Turn Wheel's okay, but, like, Soul of Zofia just stomps, let me tell you. Like, Soul of Zofia's kind of the W here. Like, wh which one are you more excited for between these two? Uh, since, since I have Celica, I would say Celica, because I, I like that damage reduction. Thing where you just have damage reduction for no reason with no uh, that's it like you just like for no reason like hey hey you have 50 percent yeah well too bad now it's 25 fuck you <laughs> true true okay now i know where i'm at sorry i was just screwing around with this so mm, yeah. i'm gonna this and this one here so these are the next things on the list of stuff to talk about These are rather interesting. So, on the left-hand side here, we got the new units for the Divine Codes Ephemera 3. I don't give a shit about any of these except for one! Baruka, can you guess which unit on the left-hand side of the screen out of those seven do I actually give a crap about? Inigo. Exactly. And what does Inigo have? Bunny ears? <laughs> I do love my bunny boys. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 oh, oh, wait, wait, I know, I know. Green Duel Flying 4. Atta boy. Now, the reason why I like that is because I initially... So, funny story. I've actually owned two of these Inigos before. I foddered one to uh, my brave Micaiah so she can be used in Arena. And holy shit, was that a good choice? Like, dude, brave Micaiah just nukes stuff. Because, like, she has the guaranteed follow-up attack. And mine has, like, 80 speed. So it's like, she will double. Or she will double. Basically, you cannot stop her, and she will murder you. It's fantastic. I love this build on Brave Micaiah. Uh, the second uh, Inigo was a classic Bard Whoopsie. Where I thought I was sending... I thought I was uh, doing, putting, making a combat manual. I apparently sent him home. How? I it was three in the morning, dude. I was I was not awake. Oh my god, bro, bro, oh my oh my god, that is the biggest L I have ever seen. Oh my god. Uh, my brave Tiki has Canto Control one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just hear Baruka's mind screaming from here. It's like, it's like that image of like me looking completely fine, but then there's the there's the transparent version of me screaming like. <sighs> and then lately, most recently, I was foddering attack speed ideal. I was giving a unit attack speed ideal. Oh no! I gave attack speed ideal one. Oh my! But luckily, it was just a uh, what the heck was his name? Hugh. The FE6 oh. guy who has like trash fodder oh. except for ideal. Oh, oh my god. So, yeah, I lost ideal. But that's oh okay, my I have god. That it's fine. Oh, this, is, this hurts me so much. <laughs> okay. I, Let so this much be a lesson. Pain. Let this be a lesson, whoever may be watching this video. Don't touch your game. Don't make any changes. Do not create manuals. Do not send home. Do not do any of that shit when you're tired, okay? You're going to fuck something up eventually, and people will be very <laughs> amused by it. Amused I'm disappointed in you. Disappointed I expected or... better. I know. I let you, I'm, Baruka. I'm so I, okay, I, guys. I expected more from you, man. Guys, I, 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 I have to apologize here. I know I let a number of you down. Apology when I only video. Gave, I, I tried to give a unit Cantor Control three, and I gave them Cantor Control one. I am so. I'm sorry, guys. I am very sorry for this misstep. It will probably happen again at some point, but hopefully not for a while. Anyway, um, so yeah, when it comes to Ephemera 3, um, yeah, none of these units I give a crap about. It's just an ego 
Fiora has Pegasus Flight, which Fila has, and Fila's in the four-star pool. I think that's her name. And she has Fury, and Fiora has Fury 3, which is also in the th four-star pool. I think Hinata has that one? So, like, why the fuck is Fiora a five-star at all? That's what I want to know, too. She has Here's no purpose being here. I, I could imagine her as a four-star instead, and it would still make sense. <laughs> but, like, yeah, no, Inigo is the winner here by far, because he's the only one that actually has good fodder. And it's... He's the only one with green duel flying, dude. They're giving us a rare, rare, rare skill. For free! So fuck wow. it. Wow. I'll take it. And as for the up, the right refines, is there any units here that you're hoping that you want that, that you're excited about for getting a refine? Uh, let's see. I have literally no one but the Byleth. <laughs> I literally have no one, and and yeah, yeah. too. So I, I would say Byleth. I can't wait to make a video on her. Oh yeah, that's gonna be funny. I'm those tights, uh, those little, those those fish, or whatever those like the things in her leggings, they do it for me. <laughs> Oh. That stripper pants. Okay, so, um, yeah, the Bylaws I'm super excited about. I'm curious to see what they'll get. I like the fact that they're doing Edelgard Refine last. Because <laughs> Base Claude got his. Dimitri got his, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was Dimitri. Was Dimitri yeah, round. he was the one. This round yeah, is Dimitri. the Bylaws. I, I'm oh starting my... to think IS hates Edelgard as much as we do right now. <laughs> well, let's go. That means she's the next one. Yeah, the hers will, she'll be next, but I'm just surprised that Edelgard's last. Wow, man, they really do not like Edelgard. <laughs> Edelgard, Edelgard getting destroyed in the stick again. Yeah, that, that this is just funny. I, I think they saw that the uh, the Hero Rises was like double Edelgards. They're like, no, 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 we can't give them too much Edelgard content all at once. This is we can't do that. We'll do Edelgard's refine later, and then <laughs> Edelgard's not even in the banner. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't really care besides the Bylas and maybe New Year Selkie, because I have New Year Selkie. I have New Year... Oh, New Year Caden! Okay, my New Year Caden is plus 10. And I think he might be coming up here soon, too. I think next month, it's either going to be Dual Alphonse, finally. It should be Dual Alphonse next month. Because we're now we're getting refunds on the New Year units. And I think uh -huh. this is the first one we've gotten. So I'm thinking new, Duo Alphonse is coming up next month. If not him, it has to be Caden. Either way, I'm excited, dude. I loved I loved Duo Alphonse back in the day, and I still love to use my Caden even now. He is so much fun to use. So like, I'm excited about next month. I don't really, I'm not really too excited about any of these. I just want to see what Selkie does. And I want to see what the pilots do, and maybe Celica and Mila. Their refines, their refines could probably be pretty damn good. But, like, there's nothing here that, unless Mila gets a really good refine, and I can start using her again in Ponza Loki, I don't, I don't really care about too much here. The Bylas is about it. Maybe Selkie. Like, hmm. Selkie's a maybe. Mila's a maybe. Selkie's a maybe. Bylas are, like, sure, I'm curious to see what they have. Every, the other two, I don't, the other two I don't give a shit about. Forsyth is, like, whatever. Ask, Astrum is, like, okay, sure, he exists. Like, I don't care about them at all. So this is a kind of a, I was... Okay, there's two units I'm waiting for, or now I guess technically three that I'm waiting for in terms of refines. Where is Nagi? Nagi is way overdue. Duo yeah. Alphonse is overdue. Because, like, if you think about it, when it comes to the duo refines, we got... The New Year banner had... Not that New Year. The, the, like, December got... What? December got... Christmas Altina. October got... Yeah, October got Hector. His debut month. November got uh, Ephraim. Debut month. Alt Christmas, when, December got Altina. Debut month. Why the hell is New Year Alphonse being done in January, February, March, April? Like, what the hell? Why, why do we fall behind all of a sudden? Give me Duo know. Refines! I feel I feel like it was the three houses that stopped the dual refines. Because you know how you because you know you know how delayed the three houses were. They were supposed to get theirs like practically last year, but they've been delaying them back for so long. 
so. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. But still, like. So, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's the thing. Yeah, anyway. Um. Overall, nah, these are okay. And the last thing we want to talk about before we get to the juicy part is I'm going to have to carry this one because, uh, Baruka, you don't really play Summoner Duels. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll let you take over. Okay, so the new captain skill we get is Headlong Rush, which grants uh, when it comes to, to turns two through five, which is fair, grants Charge and Canto to captain for one turn. So basically, move three spaces in a straight line, and you can Canto a space any direction. And it's only the captain that gets it. I personally don't think this is going to be very popular. Because charge is very niche. And in Summoner's Duels, charge is very hard to use. It's very dependent on the map. Because some maps you cannot go in a straight line. Because there's like jagged pieces. Like the, the, the one where you're like... The one with obstacles in the way that you can't move through. Charge is useless. Charge is, like, absolutely terrible. You have to use, like, a Yuri strat where you, like, foul play to get the charge unit in position to get a straight line, and it's just... Ugh. It's very, very niche as to the map. So a skill that's map-dependent... Like, you're not even guaranteed to have a good map for this, for this captain skill while the captain skill is on. You can have the map, but not the skill. You can have the skill, but not the map. So, like, this skill is kind of all over the place. I'm not excited about it at all, really. It's kind of... It's pretty damn mid. Because, let's be honest, Legendary Eliwood exists, who gives Kanto 1 and, like, five other things, and they're all better than Charge. Like, consistently better than Charge. Charge can be phenomenal in the right circumstance, but, like, Bonus Doubler and Null Panic and plus six to everything and like com like come on that, how's that gonna compete like how's charge gonna supposed to compete with that right and then the other mm -hmm. unit that grants canto one is flame tana flame tana has harmonized dance they're a ranged nuke because you can run wind sweep on them and then or water sweep either or and the enemy can't do shit so they just delete a unit so, like, both of those units are better than the captain skill. The only thing the captain skill has is that you don't have to run a unit to do it. So, like, if you have one team with Tana, you can have one team with Tana, one team with Ellie, one, one team with the captain skill. But, again, it's just one unit that, it's just the captain that gets the Kanto in charge. The two units that give charge, or not charge, give Kanto, give it to everyone on the team, potentially. Mm. It's just universally better. They're just universally better. This captain skill does nothing. So that that's that's all I gotta say on it. It's it's a very bad captain skill overall. Like it it, it it'll be played with when it first comes out, but I don't think it's gonna do anything spectacular. And last but not least, what Baruch has been waiting for, what I've been waiting for, hell yeah! First off, mm. shout out to Phoenix Master One for this beautiful graphic where he put every unit's fodder on here which is freaking spectacular that just saved me like two hours of note taking and oh uh, 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 yeah, that's that. a sanity do and i see uh-huh pm1 is just the bro of bros in the fate Huber world he's fantastic such a nice guy too like legit i got hacked i lost my old discord account PM1 was the first person to message me asking if, like, if, like, are you okay? Like, he is such a cool dude. Like, he's fantastic. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, yeah. Baruka, at the end of, uh -huh. uh, going through these, were, I, I, if you're able to, make note, and, like, we're gonna do, like, a tier list of these. Because that sounds okay. kind of fun. I want to see which one you think is the most valuable, and then, like, we're also gonna go over which one we will we'll go into first or which one we're mo which line we're most excited about all right so uh three hopes that slash houses um we got the toasty cougar mommy oh yes <laughs> <laughs> i had to yeah. start off with that okay <laughs> who's got like a special fighter three that's about all she has which is not bad but it's like 
Not fantastic either. Yeah, but you, that special foil, special fighter three could be useful for when you want to get special fighter four. True. That means you could give uh, distant dart and special fighter four from uh, Christmas Black Winter. Knight. Yeah. Which, by the way, I just want to get on get in on this for a second. Christmas Black Knight is the most fucked up unit in Vey. Like the, the 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 reason of his existence as a like the the fact that he's Christmas is just screwed up. Do you know what he gave Ike and Mist for Christmas? Well, not necessarily for Christmas, but you know what he gave he gave them a dead father. Their IS is celebrating the fact that it's like Merry Christmas, kids. Your parents died. I killed them. Ho ho ho. Like, what the hell? That is all sorts of fucked up. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. Right? <laughs> Jesus Jesus Christ. Because, like, okay, this is not really spoilers because, like, this game's been out for, like, about 10 years plus. So, in Path Radiance, the Black Knight, a.k.a. Zelgius, kills Ike's dad. That's all he's given. I well, actually, technically speaking, he gave Ike, like adult Ike and Radiant Dawn, a, a sword. But like, in terms of Christmas, when it comes to Christmas, you think kids and gifts and all that. Well, these the gifts he gave these kids in Path of Radiance is a dead dad. <laughs> wow, the perfect Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a Fire Emblem Christmas story right here. Uh, no, this is this is no, this is exactly what would happen in Fire Emblem. To yep. be honest, yep, one hundred percent honest. So, for the second level, we've got Summer Dimitri with attack speed catch four, which is a fantastic skill, and speed defense menace. Now, the reason why speed defense menace is like, holy shit, he's the only one with it. No one else has speed defense menace. It's just that specific Dimitri, which is crazy. That is crazy good fodder. Uh, on the tier 3, we've got attack speed I- uh, or level 3, we got attack speed ideal, and speed res tempo. Tempo's nice, but like, you could, there's other things you could run instead of the tempo, but attack speed ideal is phenomenal fodder. Uh, on the fourth level is, uh, Shez. Male Shez. Cause female's a demote and legendary is a legendary. So, no, but... this Shez has speed defense bulwark and attack speed 04, and you can fodder them at the same time. Because you can take, you can fodder a unit with attack speed 03, and then you can just give 04 and bulwark to whoever you want. Yep. Which is crazy good, too. And last, but certainly not least, is Brave Byleth with attack speed catch 4, speed preempt 3, and speed res hold. Speed preempt is probably the best one out of those because attack speed catches on like we already had attack speed catch on level two on Dimitri, so that's uh, not. Now we get another one. You get another one. I know you get two attack speed catches in one line, which is pretty cool. Uh, speed preempt is just like godly. I think there's, I think there's only one other unit with speed preempt in the game. And speed yeah, and that's it's a uh, Byleth and uh, the uh, uh, Desert Nino. Yeah. They're and the ones with the speed preempt three. And then speed res hold is not bad, but I don't, I'm not too big of a fan of the hold. And they're, okay. and they're not they're, they're not really as great as the people make it out to be. It's like yeah, like I prefer like you I can make do you can make do with just a regular like re rain 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 yeah. I think yeah you, you can make do with a regular rain. What I was gonna say is I prefer like uh, attack speed O four just jump around teleport. That sounds more fun to me. Like, in terms of a flyer, I'd rather have a, a attack speed of 4 than speeder as hold. I'd rather just be dealing more damage than, like, dealing a little bit more damage and slightly nerfing enemies. But it's not even a big nerf. But yeah, no. Um, so what are your thoughts on the Three Houses Hopes line? Three Hopes? Um, pretty decent fodder, uh, I would say, uh, this has. Um... Honestly, uh, probably I would consider this my uh, my weak one because, like, I kind of already have all these units with these fodder, and um, I already have a plus ten 
Toasty Cougar mommy, so you know, I don't need that. <laughs> so it's got like yeah. the weakest start for you because you already have her at plus 10. Yeah, I already have her and all these other units and stuff. I already have like their fodder and stuff and they seem lax. I mean, not to mention the fact that like attack and speed catch is also really restrictive. So, you know, you it's only on flyers and I think like cavalry. Yeah, because ideal is infantry and armor. But like, yeah. for attack speed catch also, the enemy has to be debuffed. So that's why catch plus um, menace or really catch slash ideal plus menace is like the ideal combo because you're getting you're fulfilling requirements for both those skills with one C slot, which is crazy. But yeah, no, like it's uh, three has three hopes line is pretty solid, I'd say. Uh, I'd say honestly, the biggest winner here is Shez because attack speed O four is one of the best C skills in my opinion. And speed defense bulwark is—he's the only one with it. And the fact that like speed defense, like the speed defense bulwark is like game changing in some modes. So like that's that's pretty good. I think Shez is the winner here. Uh, for the Fae slash Radiance line, it's just like one Fae and then the rest is Radiance, which is pretty cool actually. I like this. Uh, we got BB Eliana. She's always hungry. Uh, she's got a little attack res 3, so she didn't really have much. Um, Ooh, sturdy, sturdy Surge on the second line, that's good. Yeah, sur Sturdy Surge is rare, only two units in the game have that, I think, and that's n this Nyla and Harmonized Roy, if I remember correctly. I, there might be a yep. third, but I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't. No, 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 you're right, there's only two. Uh, the little speed defense is nice, I guess. You could take Surge and the lull, I suppose. Ah, uh, man, 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 that's so, that lull speed is so 2020. Or whenever it came out. I Boy. think it was 2020. I think it came out like two years ago. That, that's how old it is, I think. In a nutshell, though, lull speed defense is like the best lull for the most part. You want you want, you want want a better lull, go for tempo, because that one it gives you guard as well. Well, the problem with like the, 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 the lull cancels bo like the bonus doubler stuff. That's what makes lull so good. Mm. Because they, guess, they negate the bonuses, right? So like basically it's like, hey, look at this, I have this unit that has that's normally untouchable. Yeah, get lulled. They still lose. It's funny as hell. Because a lot of raid boss strats and uh, summoners duels rely upon bonus doubler, and lull basically says, yeah, two of those stats don't exist now. It's pretty damn good actually. Um Baby Mia has flashing blade four, speed defense tempo three, and odd tempest three. Uh, the Tempest skills are niche, that doesn't really matter. Speed Defense Tempo, it's kind of the same as the Speed Rise Tempo, and it's funny that they're both in the third level. And Flashing Blade 4, no one's gonna run that nowadays. Just run the Seal and then run a better A slot. Like, problem solved. <laughs> so I think Mia's best, like, take home there is the Speed Defense Tempo, which is not bad. It's not bad at all, I'd say. Having Anti-Guard and having, um... Yeah, it's like guard and anti-guard tempo, right? I think that's what it does. Let me double check here. It's like, I can't remember all skills off the top of my head, but I know I have a young Mia manual, so this won't take me too long. Oh, okay, yeah, so in it, in new, it's anti-guard and anti-special acceleration when it comes to the foe. So it's guard and anti-guard at the same skip time. That's what... Tempo does. Okay. Uh, the fourth level has Sheenon, and Sheenon has Deadeye, that, and the lull. That's about it. Wow, wow, there's like three speed and defense lulls. Look at that. <laughs> there's like three. There's lull, speed, defense, the tempo, and uh, again. <laughs> I mean, Dead... That's so yeah, I just noticed it. I, I mean, like, I mean, Deadeye is an okay fodder, but it's not really, you know, much use anymore, I guess. Uh, there's Vital Astra. But then again, this is like the vital Astra for bows. archers. Yeah. For so bows, like, yeah. I think that I will always be useful. Mainly because like there will always be new bow units, right? So like, yeah, I, I think true. Deadeye will always be good. And Shinon's the only one with Deadeye. Oh wait, no, there was one other unit that came with Deadeye, wasn't there? Uh, yeah. Euler. Euler. Uh, Uler. There we go. Uler, um, Euler, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Mithra, the one that looks like Mithra. Yeah. <laughs> And, like the um, book. the freaking Moose Spell? This is 
summer move spell, I, I do believe. And attack defense catch four is like, who freaking cares? I, I, that that skill's like, I, I don't I don't really care much about that skill. But Dragon's Wrath four for free is freaking crazy, bro. Like, holy oh, yeah. shit, that's good. Yeah, that is some crazy stuff right there. Yeah, I like, know what Dragon's Wrath 4 does, it's crazy. It's like damage reduction, uh, true damage... I can't, I'm pretty sure it has something else too. Hang on, I have him as a manual too. Give me five seconds here. <laughs> I have a lot of manuals. So like, m majority of the time, I'll have the unit that we're talking about. Yeah, so it reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 25%. If unit's attack is greater than foe's res, 25% of the difference is dealt. So like, it's basically true damage plus damage reduction for dragons, which is fucking crazy. That is a good skill. Ah, uh, Moose Spell is definitely the best in this line, hands down, I'd say. Um, so, the Baruka line, or shall I say the Jugdral games, because this was your favorite round last time. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember. I I oh, used. To, I remember the last one conversation we had. Remember like me popping off over Marcy. Yeah, it was Marseille like Marseille. Sion Marce. I made sure your entire server stayed hush hush on him. Like guys, I'm gonna. I'm recording a video. Don't tell Baruka. Do not leak this to him. I want to catch his raw reaction on video. And like you just popped. Oh, I like I'm, I'm, I think people might, a couple people might have had like bursted eardrums after that been watching that video. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you need you need to find the clip and then like put it on here and do like, like cut to it if you like. <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 see. I think I can I think I can link. I I'll put the I'll put that video at the end of this one. I'll I'll, yeah, link, yeah, I'll yeah. link it at the end. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. So for the Jigdraw games, we got we actually have a five star right off the bat, but it's Scion Julia who's kind of trash because the best thing she has is a rally plus <laughs> wow yeah 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 that is bad that's bad fodder right there it's funny she's a five star but the two previous four stars that were in the level one slot have better fodder than her i know right like it's weird that's just I, sad I, 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 th I think the whole reason why is because she has personal skills that's why they don't want to demote her i guess this was before they did it. i mean look at summer claude yeah, Summer Claw! <laughs> and, and and Desert Byleth, he has like mm -hmm. specific fodder for him, and he's a demo. Yeah, they just didn't want to do that to Julia because that was before it was cool. Yeah, before it was cool. So, um, the next one up in line is the creepy old man. I don't like this guy. He looks like August. he's trying to- he looks like he's trying to pick me up. And I don't appreciate that. It looks like he's trying. He's plotting something evil. He looks like the Arcanator guy, like the one that could predict the web web genie guy. Mm. Yeah. No. Uh, this guy's I, a good guy. It, this guy's a good guy, but he looks like a villain. Yeah. It's, it's, it's his the way he looks in Fade just creeps me out whenever I look at him. Um. Like, he has hmm. like even recovery is his best thing here, eh, which yeah, is good. Like, but it's only on here. Yeah, like, it's it's me. It's it's, it's yeah. Meh. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible yeah, either. Yeah. But it's it, All right. it could be other things. So basically, he's the worst one in the two in the second level too. So so far, we've got the worst level one so far, the worst level two so far, and level three we got Tinny, and her greatest contribution is I would say no follow up. Fury four, lots of units have Fury four. That doesn't matter anymore. And the, I don't like the feud skills. They're dumb. Like, if it was, like, an Omni, like, a Spectrum feud, like, Embla, they'd be a lot better. But, just Blue feud? Who cares? I would rather have any other C-slot, honestly. What do you think there, Baruka? What's your opinion on the feuds? The feuds? Um, I think it's okay, but they're kind of really niche. I don't see them often. I don't see it often all the time on other units or anything. It's always, it's rarely, very rare that I see a feud. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not big on the feud skills. Hon honest, honestly, it's like, nah, not, not really that great. Not that much great. The, I think the only good skill that she has is probably no follow up three. Because mm -hmm. Fury four just kills you instantly. 
Yeah, uh. Melf, like Fury Four is good for like Gale Force strats and Ether Raids. That's about it. Um, <laughs> and like Fury Three Seal or Fury Four as an Ace Lock could be helpful in specifically raid boss teams dealing with legendary Eliwood because you could bust bump up your stats and Eliwood hit targets the unit with the highest attack. And if you have a bunch of units with the with tied for the highest attack, he grants all of them the buffs. So Fury 4 slash 3 can be used to mitigate your stats to either raise them to the point where they get the Eliwood level up or the Eliwood boost or like kind of like fluctuate your stats a little bit. That's what Fury 4 is good best with right now. Gale Force, Ether Raids, and Raid Boss tweaking for Eliwood. That's it. Every, there's no other reason to use Fury 4. So, I would would you say that she's like the also the worst level 3 so far we've reviewed? Yes, I would say so. Yeah. Honestly, every cuz out of the rest that we've seen so far, they they had some really good fodder and stuff like the tempo is pretty good and the ideal in tempo and you know, that's mm -hmm. good stuff, but the only good thing she has is maybe no follow up 3. But we have that as a seal now, so it really doesn't like matter anymore. We have it as a seal and we have two different C slots that could just give it for free as well. Yeah, so, like, honestly, it's really useless. Pretty pointless. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure she's a decent unit, at least. Better than the other two. But, like, that's... The other two and the level three are better units with better fodder. So, like, I've heard of raid boss Kid Mia. She is terrifying to fight against. I've heard of Monica yeah. being a monster. Like... And I've oh never yeah, heard no, of Monica. Being scared of Tinny. You let Monica initiate on you, you're dead. Yeah, I've never heard of anyone being terrified of Tinny. Yeah, no, no, Tinny's just like, oh hey, look her. Step. Basically, so in the level four, so this is the second highest level in this path. We have ascended Ishtar. Honestly, oh, I forgot. Also, I Hmm? Yeah, uh, uh, one thing to note about Ascendant Ishtar, uh, if you guys are wondering, if people, someone asked in the comments, um, you won't get the floret for getting a manual of an Ascendant Hero. Nope, because you didn't pull the unit. You didn't pull the unit, so technically speaking, it doesn't count towards that. So yeah, if you guys were hoping, ooh, look at that free floret, yeah, no. Now here's the funny thing. The floret is all Ishtar has to offer. <laughs> Yeah, literally, because all her other fodder that she has, it's available on everyone else. Other yeah. characters have it. Life and Death 4 is, like, lots of units Really have easy that. to get. Lol Speed what? Res. We literally just saw it earlier, did we not? Oh, no, we yep. got Speed Defense, we got Speed Defense, we got... Uh, and Attack Tempo. Res. Okay, we, we did not get Lol Speed Res, but, like... Eh? We got Speed Res Tempo. So we got a different version of it. And times pulse three, times pulse four exists, and a lot of units have times pulse three. So the main reason people are excited when they pull Ascended Ishtar is because they pulled her, and they could get a floor it. You don't even get a floor it off her manual. She's the worst four level four person here so far that we've reviewed too. Um, hey Baruka, do you want to lead the charge on uh, the level five unit here? <laughs> All right, and at level five for two thousand. The bank code, we got um, Ascended Merida, who were like, <clears throat> good, good. And um, she's stacked. Mm -hmm. She's stacked with fodder. I mean, Spurn, Vital Astra, Attack and Speed Solo 4, even Tempest. Dude, you can easily just get Astra, and then Attack and Speed 3, and then get Sp Spurn and stuff right there. Like, here's the thing. We all know eventually Spurn 4 is going to be a thing. They've done Close uh -huh. Call, and they've done Repel, right? And Vital Spurn, Astra. Spurn yeah. 4 will be a thing. So you could actually inherit Vital Astra, the Solo 4, and Spurn 4. Or, and the Spurn. Like, you could do, like, yeah. the boom, boom. Yeah. Which is crazy. Like. That is crazy to think about right there. Yeah, that's good. And not to mention, Vital Astra is a really good skill. Oh, well, Vital she has Spurn really good. 4, but, like, you could fodder. You could basically, like, set it up. So you, you should give Vital Astra and Spurn 3, and then you could give Inherit Spurn 4 from whoever has it, plus something else, and mm -hmm. keep the chain going. But yeah, like, Vital Astra yeah. is, like, one of the best specials, inheritable specials in the game, because it's super rare. Only she has it. And it's pretty much virtually good on... It's only, it's only usable for infantry melee. Yeah. And that's only like sword, lance, axes, nothing else. It's right? it's basically Ragno Astra, but inheritable. 
Yeah. But like, <laughs> just the fact that we're getting this for free is crazy. But yeah, it is specifically only Swordlands Axe Infantry. That's it. But like, even then, that's a lot of good units. Like, there's like a um. A Dimitri build that could use a brave Dimitri build that could use this. There's like a lot of units could use Vital Astra. It is a really good skill. So like this path sucked up until Merida. I think Merida is the best level five so far. Her versus Moose Spell or Byleth. I think Merida kind of wins. I don't know about you. Yeah, I think honestly, out of the whole line here, uh, the unfortunate part is that she's at the very end of the line, so you have to ch chug through all these really mediocre mm -hmm. fodder right here just to get to the good shit. Yeah, but like that is some good shit right there. That's some good shit. Now that's uh, that's some gourmet shit right there. Yeah, th th this is like Chef Gordon Ramsay created shit, uh, man. All right, all right, let's move to the next one because <laughs> I'm excited about this one. Oh. You're excited about the Awakening and Fates? Oh yeah, because I look, look at the fodder, man. Look how fucking stacked that is. Look at that. Oh yeah, that, that this is sick. I'm excited. I'm actually excited about Awakening Fates myself for a different reason. So we're gonna start off with Ninja K Male Corin, who has Special Spiral Three. Swift and guess who's this is on the banner? Hmm? And guess who's on the guess who's on the banner for the Hero Rises? Ophelia with, spe with Special Ophelia. Spiral 4! So you got Before three hunt. Special Spiral 3 fodder. So you can, with him, plus Ophelia, you could just go straight up and go attack where it's finish. Oh no, I guess not. You can do Special Spiral no, 4. No, 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 no. We don't have attack and speed finish 3 yet. We don't have that. Oh no, attack res finish. It's res finish he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we don't have res finish 3 yet. We'll either. get it eventually. We'll get it eventually. Yeah. Yeah, but you can inherit, uh, let's see, the Eclipse Tome. True. Special, and Special Spire 3. Mm. That's, and that, that's it, and I think that's pretty good. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, Special Spiral 3 is, like, phenomenal fodder right now just because of Rearmophilia existing. Um, so yeah, he's at really good level 1. Like, he's tied. We haven't really ranked these so far, but I think in terms of level 1s... I think he's equal to Manuela because they both have t uh, B skills that have upgraded forms. Man like there's Special Spider 4 and Special Spiral 4. So like these two are tied in my opinion. Uh, next up we got freaking Flavia who has literally nothing. <laughs> she has our feud. I don't care. Next. <laughs> but now we're getting into the good shit. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, look at that little Falling Lilith. Falling like, Lilith is... with Attack Speed Catch 4, Dive Bomb 3, and Speed Smoke 4. Now, Dude, correct we me. all know that Speed we all know that Speed Smoke 4 is like deep probably one of the best C skills. Is there any demote that has Attack Speed Catch 3? Like does anyone yep. have that? Ch Chad. Who? Chad. The dagger guy. From uh, I think Finding Blade, Chad. Yeah, like he yeah. he has Speed Smoke three. Oh no no! At four I'm, star. I meant uh, Attack Speed Catch. Oh oh! Then no one. Then uh. But like more than likely, you'd want Speed Smoke four off her, or you'd want. Actually, Hanley, you don't. Know, let me look it up real quick. Yeah, but like typically look. you'd want like Speed Smoke four on one unit. You wouldn't want what, all what, these skills what, on the same unit. Typically, right? Like dive bomb three is only available on fl like is only equipable by, by flyers. Speed smoke four is more so like dodge tank kind of strats with like brave Dimitri, uh, flame tribe Lin, who we're gonna talk about later. Um, like this is a very weird kit. It works well with her, but not many units would want this whole kit. They just want a piece of it. There's some units who would just love dive bomb three and speed smoke four, which you could do. But like, yeah, it's, she's like, she used to be the queen of fodder until Halloween female corn existed. <laughs> so like, that's pretty fucking good, let me tell ya. Oh yeah, so, um, who has attack and speed, catch three, uh, Kaldori, uh, Ascended Air, mm -hmm. who's in the perma pool, let's see, uh, Brave Violet has it. 
Yeah, like the three. Yeah. Yeah, all five stars. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah. I actually didn't know. All five stars. Yeah. I felt yeah, but... like we haven't had that as a demo on a demo yet, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure because we've been getting some really crazy skills on demos lately. So, um. Next up is Valentine's Lucina, who is an absolute save monster. Uh, if you guys want to hear, like, mm, DTM drool about it, uh, about her being a manual and him getting a free copy, uh, you should check out his video on his channel. Link gonna, link's going to be down in the description below. Because uh, he's, like, the biggest Lucina fan I know. And I know he's super happy about this. Uh, so she comes with Kestrel Stance 3. Kestrel Stance 3 is only available on her and Siri. I do believe. Uh, Savvy Fighter 3 is locked to Lucina for now. She's the only one with it. And Attack Defense Near Save, it's just a typical Near Save. There's a few, there's a couple units that have that. But like, Kestrel Stance 3 with only two units and Savvy Fighter with only one, that makes her the ultimate rarity skill queen. Because like, she, she's got skills that are super, super rare. And last but not least, I'm most excited about this one. Because if you guys have seen my I Give My Brave Crom 15 effects video, or the previous oh, one yeah, where yeah. I give him 12, well now he has 15. And let me tell you, a free merge on Brave Crom is what I want right now. This is phenomenal. I love this to bits. He's a crazy ass unit who can just st 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 stat stack like crazy. The more effects he has, the better. If your opponent is hitting you with effects that do this and that, and they hit you with the guard effect, they hit you with that effect, they're just making him stronger. Thoki makes him stronger. Which is stupid. <laughs> like, yes, she'll get rid of his other effects, but he also gets more effects off her anyway. He loses a bunch, but he still gets effects off her. So she still technically makes him stronger, which is just the funniest, the funniest thing ever. I love Brave Crom. Brave Crom is my favorite Brave hero this year. And I love Brave Crom. Uh, he comes with Surge Sparrow, which is okay. It's on a few units. I think it's him, Brave Yurka, and... Who the hell was it? I pulled like five of this guy. Give me a second. It's also on some guy that only has like... That as a good skill. Galzus. Yeah, Galzus has Surge Sparrow... NFU and Rain Sword. So yeah, that's his only fodder is Surge Sparrow, really. So Surge Sparrow's on a few units, but it's still a pretty decent skill. Uh, Speed Defense Near Trace, I think that's kind of rare too. And he's like one of two units that has Infantry Speed Tactic. It's him and Winter Dorothea. And that's a really good skill, because that's just... Remember how we were talking about no follow-up in a B-slot? An Infantry Speed Tactic mm -hmm. could just give it to every infantry. I'm yep. pretty sure. Oh no, only on infantry is with like, if there's two or less of them on the team. Mm -hmm. But infantry speed tactic can be equipped by anyone. The most common units to give infantry speed tactic to right now are, Bra are uh, Harmonized Catria, Bridal Cordelia, Legendary Ninian, basically any dancer, any refresher, for the most part, would be good. Mm. Or mm -hmm. um, any kind of support unit can get infantry speed tactic and they're just immediately a better support i see i see I so, and search sparrow too yeah that's a good thing yeah this thing is like stacked honestly awakening and face is stacked yeah like this is pretty from the third from level three on basically they have the best units so far that we've reviewed like i'd say lilith is easily the best third level because like what she's what's she contending with tempo She's got Speed Smoke 4! <laughs> Tier 4, Lucina's closest competition so far, I'd say, would be, like, Shez. But, like, that, that that's I'd actually say that's almost a tie. Because Attack Speed 04 and Bulwark are really good, and Kestrel Stance 3 and Savvy Fighter are really good, so it's kind of a tie there. And then, mm -hmm. like, Krom is just... I'm, I'm not... He's got overall better fodder than Marita, if you look at, like, skill per skill, because Marita basically only has Vital Astra. Right now. Solo 4 is kind of outdated. No one really cares about Solo 4 much. Spurn 3 is good once we get Spurn 4. But, like, Krom, you can get Surge Sparrow plus Speed Defense Near Trace 3. You can get Surge Sparrow plus Infantry Speed Tactic. 
Like, Krom has better, has more fodder, but I'd still put Vital Astra over Krom because everything Krom has, someone else has too. I think Speed Defense Near Trace is on Pirate Nesala? I think? I could be wrong mm -hmm. about that, but that sounds about Pirate right. Nisala? No, no, no. What were you saying again? Who was uh, it? Speed Defense Near Trace 3. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, Pirate Nesala. Yeah. So, everything Krom has, at least one other unit has, only unit with Vital Astra. So Marita's still technically better, but the line is overall better than hers, so... Oh yeah, for sure, because like, you get some decent, you get some nice fodder, you get Crash, then you get back to nice fodder again. Exactly. Uh, GBA games. So we got Bridal Cecilia, who has a Rally Plus. Honestly, it's pretty good for any any fours if you have like especially for a, a rouse attack in res three like four if you want to get four you can use her but honestly oh, true. it's not that's pre i forgot we have that skill because the we do have ruse level four right yeah yeah we have that yeah wait, wait, wait. oath is the teleporting one ruse gives no panic okay yeah, yeah no, the ones... Ru ruse is still not that good even Ruse no, 4 no, is not that great. It's not, it, it's not no panic, it's uh... Wait, wait, no, no, you're right. No, you're right. Yeah, no, I remember this because, um... Who has, who has another... Who has Ruse 4s? That's like, um... Hey, the only person who has it is, uh... Ruse 4 is, uh... Letizia. Letizia, or... yeah. Letizia, she's the only one with it. I remember her name. Yeah, it's just... No, no I, I know her name, I just can't pronounce it. I just can't pronounce names. I'm just bad with pronouncing names. So yeah, Cecilia just has, like, the Rally Plus, because, oh. like, the Ruse 4 skills are nowhere near as good as the Oaths. Um, jo Ascended Joshua, another Ascended unit. Okay. Um, Ascended Joshua has Life and Death 4. That's basically it. But, like, at least it's the second level, so it's better. With the Jump yeah. games, it's fourth level, and that's just terrible. Mm, and third line, we got Fallen Indian, and honestly, she she is decent. I get the Blue Duel Infantry Four could be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. And for cross sure. cross spur attack is also pretty nice. Oh yeah. So uh, uh, nice, nice fodder. Honestly, honestly, nothing to write about. But if you really have a better unit that you want to give it to, um, for Blue Duel Infantry Four, yeah, well you can. There it is. You can get it for free. Yeah, and honestly, the Blue Duel Infantry 4 ties really, like, combos really well with the Odd Pulse tie because the B Duel Infantry, like, the infantry, the the dual skills, tier 4s, give HP plus 5 plus, and plus 2 to every other stat. And Odd Pulse tie works off HP, so if you give it to a unit that already has that high HP, you give them, the, the dual skill gives them even more HP, and Odd Pulse tie is actually really good at summoner's duels because you could just do nothing, you just, ex the unit exists... And the enemy has no specials every second turn. And mm -hmm. honestly, odd, odd is the best because it hits three times. Meanwhile, even only hits two. Because there's only five turns in Summoner's Duels, right? So yep. odd will hit more often, which makes odd better. So she's got like the best pulse tie, in my opinion. And she's got a skill that helps get there, which is really good. And I think I'm pretty sure you can get B Duel Infantry 3 off someone. So you can get oh, yeah. infantry four yeah. and odd pulse tie, which is phenomenal. I think I think I think the only person you can get B dual infantry four off is I think uh, dancer recruit. I think he's the only one with it, and yeah. I think Mar oh, and Marianne, I think too. But then she has four. No, never mind. I think it's only recruit that has it. At three. I think so. And he's a previous um he's a previous uh divine code line. Oh yeah, shit! I forgot about that. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So you know, there's that. Uh, so next up we have Ascend- Wow, this- this- this, this round has double Ascendants, holy shit. We got Ascended Eye Dune. With Sturdy Stance 3, and I think Sturdy Stance is just the attack and defense and guard, right? I think so, yeah. Yep. Uh, Wily Fighter that no one really runs, because everyone wants Hardy Fighter on her. And Defense Res Near Save, so you can- you can inherit the stance and the save. But what, yeah. for this, for one thing we haven't been mentioning is like some of these units you don't really want to fodder because they're just that good of units, right? Mm -hmm. Like Dimitri's really good. Um, Moose Bell is pretty solid. Young Mia is really good. She's much better as a unit than she is as fodder. Um, like 
Lucina is much better as a unit than she is as fodder. Krom's a much better unit than he is as fodder. So like, there's some units that are just, that, that they're here, but they're here more so as merges than fodder, which is phenomenal. I do is definitely one of these. You don't, we don't really care about her skills. She's a really good unit. She's she's a top tier save skill user. Not like top, top, top tier. Like if I were to rate her, I'd say like she's a solid A tier right now. She's very tanky, hard to kill. Dual crops can't do the job. She, you require, you need someone green or a happy to nuke her. And yes, I do have to mention happy. I, of course you will. Come on. I've tested happy against everything. I know what she can do. And, um, hey, Brook, I want to take a crack at the last one in the GBA path. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. And on the last path, we have, uh, uh, Blame Tribe Lin. And, um, uh, I don't really have to say it, but, like, godlike reflexes is, like, godlike. <laughs> so, basically, it's godlike. basically, what we have in uh, the last level here, level five is um, Flame Tribe Lin, who is Flame Tribe Lin. If you don't know about Flame Tribe Lin, where have you been? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember Flame Tribe Lin everywhere. She was everywhere, and the fact that she, she was really hard to kill. <laughs> she's good in Arena. She's good in Ether Raid's offense. She's fantastic as a raid boss in Summoner's Duels, especially in Might of Myriads. This unit is a way better as a merge than a fodder, but even if you fought her, Godlike Reflexes and Speed Smoke 4. And you can inherit both. Yeah, like that, because Godlike Reflexes, I think, has uh, its its counterpart before you get it. I think you need Pavis, I think? Yep, I think so. Pa and you, Pavis right. is available on so many 4-stars that mm -hmm. you, you can easily get it. So yeah, she's good fodder, because you can get Godlike Reflexes and the Speed Smoke 4. I think you just straight up take every skill on the godlike reflexes line and still take speed smoke four if you fought her off a uh, chat or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you get speed smoke but three. Like, you can get four and the and the godlike reflexes. But like now, here here's the hot take, or here's the question: Flame Tribe Lin versus Ascended Marita, Vital Astra versus godlike reflexes and speed smoke four. Who has the better fodder? I think it's Lin. Hmm. Well, she had. Oh, wait, yeah, her weapon gives her more speed. Speed. Speed smoke has to activate, and she. The, whoever gets hit by it gets like minus seven speed, I think. Basically, speed smoke four is a thirteen speed swing in your favor. Hmm. But like, and just in terms yeah. of fodder, Lin crushes Marita, in my opinion. Because godlike reflexes, vital astro is basically one for one, so those cancel out. Uh, Speed Smoke 4 beats everything Marita has. Solo 4, Spurn, and Tempest. Oh, Speed Smoke 4 is better than all three of those skills, in my opinion. Speed Smoke 4 is, like, one of the best C slots. And this is coming from someone who's not a big fan of who was not a big fan of Smoke 4 skills. Because, very, in my opinion, it, it takes a very n unique infantry unit to use them right. Because the problem with infantries and, speed and the Smoke 4 skills is they have to either get initiated on and survive, or attack first. But the problem with attacking first is you don't always have the range to do it. That's my problem with the Speed Smoke 4s on infantries. But, certain infantry units can run the Smoke 4 skills really well. Brave Dimitri can run Attack Smoke 4 really well. And that's actually a fantastic Smoke 4 skill on him. Speed Smoke 4 is really good with Lin, with Marita, with... Um, uh, let's say Kid Mia. Um, I don't know who else, but there's a lot of others. Well, not a lot of others, but there's some others that it, Speed Smoke 4 is just god tier on. So, like, Lin is a really good fodder unit, too. She's a better fodder unit than Marita. And honestly, in combat, Lin's better than Marita there, too. So, but yeah, no, Lin's pretty good. This is, this is a good path. It's just, it's kind of meh until the end. But, like, there's two units that are better as units than fodder here, which is pretty solid. So, if you look, this is like the merge path right here. But, yeah, like, for the last path, it's pretty damn good, too. Like, we got some pretty solid fodder in the last path as well. Because we got, like, the, um... 
We have our good buddy Ascended Fjorm at the end. I mean, oh yeah, the... yeah, that hardy fighter is like a godsend for any armored units right there. Yeah, that's like pretty damn juicy. Um, Zane at the uh, end. I don't give a shit about Zane. It's like yeah, I mean Shane has the weakest fodder because all he has is that uh, deep boon staff and dazzling staff. I guess dazzling staff would be good, but you know every other. Like healer has that already, so you know you can easily get it somewhere else. Yeah, and like you could, if it's an inher inheritable staff that you want to give them, they could just like refine the dazzling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just you could, you could just, you could just get on your staff. That's it. That's how easy it is to get yeah. dazzling staff. So dazzling staff doesn't even matter. So like he's he's meh. Um, mm. next up is ascended Celica with life and death four and infantry null follow up. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I prefer infantry speed tactic over infantry null follow-up. <laughs> mm, yeah, I would say, like, Asada Seleka has some weak fodder. Uh, I, she's a good unit, for sure, but it's just that, like, her fodder's weak, because, like, you, we already get life and death 4 from literally every other path that's on here. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, life and death 4 is in the Jug Drill Games path. It's in... The GBA ones too. The GBA ones as well. Okay, so not every path, but like still like two others. But like, look at uh, Harmonize Joshua for a second there. He's got infantry no follow up and life and death four. Which yeah, the is, same thing. Or like yeah. no follow up life and death four, which is just better than just like life and death four and infantry no follow up because it's just kind of an eh skill. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, so, and next up we got little Spring Maria, whose brother is finally in Faye. About freaking time, we all saw that one coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, she's got the dual rally, she's got attack defense push four, but no one gives a crap about Hon that. Honest, honestly, she doesn't really have that much. She's better as a regular unit instead mm -hmm. of a manual, to be honest. Yeah, like, looking at the Faye Mystery Echoes, like, the last path here, a lot of them are just better units than fodder, like... Except, except for Zane, except for him. He can he can die. I don't oh, care. actually, he's actually a pretty solid unit too. It's just his tr fodder is trash. But like, Ascendant is nah. a much better unit than fodder. Uh, Maria, much better unit than fodder. Uh, Delphi is kind of like a toss up, and then like, unfortunately, Ascendant Fjorm's kind of falling off because like, Duochrome exists still, and there's just a whole lot and, of uh, powerful red. Yeah, and there and there are other um there are other better saver save far savers too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like Fjorm was just Fjorm was just the uh, I think the the first ascended. Yep, she was. Yeah. She was the first ascended unit we ever got. Yeah, yeah. And she came in with Hardy Fighter, and that changed the game forever. If this was if she was on last year, she'd be the best unit on there. But like, Hardy Fighter yeah, fodder but... is still good. Like it's still fantastic fodder to just to get for free. I'm sitting mm -hmm. at like a plus. I could be sitting on a plus eight Fjorm right now if I wanted to. And yeah. since I pulled um. Two more copies of a uh, rearmed Robin. I could probably just merge up Fjorm at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Oh, and also uh, attack and speed. Uh, Delthea also has some really good fodder because we we can get attack and speed catch three easily now. Where like someone has it at three and you can get that and the rouse and the trait skill probably. Yeah. Doesn't the new Ash have attack speed catch three? I think so. Yeah. The new Ash. Uh, yeah. He's yeah, he has that. it. And he's a four star right now, yeah. so he's really easy to get. So he's really easy to farm fodder for. Well, I don't know about that because I tried to pull a ninja. What the heck's his name again? Heath. Which one? Ninja Heath. He ninja. Uh, pull smoke, and I never got him. <laughs> the entire wow. summoning session. So it is easier. It's not exactly easy, apparently. Maybe my luck was just shit that day. Uh, yeah. No, um, it probably is. Probably it's just <laughs> probably. <laughs> I don't have Burke luck out, like auto action. No, no, so. yeah, yeah, you don't have me there. Yeah. No. I yeah, decided. Like, I've literally just. Dis yeah, I, I've decided that I'm not going to join anyone for their summoning sessions because they seem to siphon my luck. They take it all the time, all right, and I'm done with that. I, no, I, I, I need, I need, I need this luck for Spring Carla, okay? I need I've luck. Done, I've made my own version now. People are calling it Bard luck. So. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> And like, dude, it's kind of going crazy days, dude. Okay, I'll tell you later. Um, so yeah, we covered every single path here. Um, Baruka, which it would, which in your opinion is the best path? I'd say, um, I'd say the Awakening Fates path because, uh, as you can see right there, a lot of really premium fodder that we have right now going on. Uh, 
the ascended hero the a hero rises event has a uh, ascended uh, Ophelia so you know easy spiral three fodder for four you know easy fodder right there uh, mm. beat smoke beat smoke search sparrow savvy fighter attacking near save three all that really good stuff right there a lot of really good fodder on the awakening in yeah phase one. like the first two are not great like the Swiss sparrow three on the ninja corn there is pretty act it's actually really good now because of Ophelia and yeah. like Flavia no one gives a shit about but once you get nah, past Flavia it's like fire after that every single one of them is both a fantastic unit and like a great merge or fantastic fodder like oh, yeah, Sparrow definitely. is probably the weakest thing in the tops in the last three but it's still a pretty solid skill but like speed defense near trace is super rare infantry speed tactic is pretty rare Savvy Fighter is amazingly rare. It's like only her. Yeah, um, only, like only, 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 only Valentine's was only Valentine's Lucina has it. And like now you can because of the Ash, and I think it's also New Year's Kitty Cat Girl. They both have um, attack speed catch three, and they're both demotes on their respective banners. So yep. when the double special heroes rolls around, you could pull on her and get more attack speed catch three fodder. Oh, oh, dude, yeah, you could get a, the the catch four and the speed smoke because you can just get yeah. the smoke from Chad. You can get yeah, like you can Chad get speed three. smoke four and attack speed catch four, or you can get speed smoke four and dive bomb, or you could do attack speed catch and dive bomb. Like Lilith is a really damn good fodder unit, not as good as um, Halloween female corn actually no i would say that i would say the fodder is pretty on par with corn corn only has two good skills but they're really damn good skills uh, Lilith yeah. has three good skills and only one of them is really good so it, it's like it averages out but yeah i would agree that like awakening of fates is like the strongest path here by far like there there are other really solid paths like the mm -hmm. three houses three hopes looks pretty damn good uh unfortunately the gba one kind of like eh, until the last yeah. two yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. I would say, I would say the worst one would be the Judro games because yeah. you just got all, everything that everyone already has. Every every other character already has that kind of fodder anyway. It's really easy to get, and uh, the only viable thing is Vital Astra at the very end. Yeah, the the Judro games one is d d absolute. D it's just terrible, dude. You get a rally plus, you get a defense res bond for like who cares? A fury four whoop de doo, life and death four whoop de doo. Uh, but like Vital Astra at the end is really nice, but like. But you get to sludge through a bunch of mediocre until mediocre stuff until it you get to that. It costs so much too. Twelve, so that's uh twelve hundred here. That's twenty four hundred. That's four thousand. That's six thousand codes just to get the Vital Astra at the end and get trash along the way. Like yeah, yeah. I, I'd say, I'd say um. Would, I say build yourself up for that one. You know, don't go all for it. You know, I guess go sparingly if you really want to. I guess, but mm. but honestly, there are other better paths like the Fates and Awakening path. That one you could you could spend your six thousand divine code on that. That's the better option, I believe. You get way more out of it too. But like, if I were to rank, if I were to rank these like all of them from like best to worst, it would be easily Awakening Fates number one. Like that is the best path. No argument here. Then I would say it's probably three houses slash hopes, and then maybe like GBA Radiance is tied, and then Mystery, and then Jugdrill. That's what I think. Mm, yeah, you see. Yeah, like overall these are still like pretty damn good paths, it's just some of them, they're not exactly even. Like. Obviously, Awakening Fates is, like, favorited right now. Like, hardcore. The shit they tossed in there is just crazy. They could have done the same with every other path, too. Like, Jugdral could have easily had Brave Seleth. They chose not to. Like... Yeah, they're, they're like, nah, nah, nah. It's like, nah, 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 we can't give a free copy of Brave Seleth. He's too good. But here's a Brave Krom, because, like, it's not like he's, uh, good, right? <laughs> Me with my 15 effects on Brave Krom. <laughs> 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 you should definitely check it out, by the way. Yeah, that, that's a crazy-ass <laughs> video. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add there, Baruka? Uh, not really. Um, uh, I pretty much said all that I wanted to say. I think it's all cool. Yeah, overall, this is a crazy update, and I'm pretty happy that, like, that this is this, this these are the manuals we got. We could have gone a lot worse. 
Some paths could have done a bit better, but like overall, like this is a good fodder here. Godlike Reflexes, Vital Astra, Dragon Draft 4, Speed Preempt, freaking um, Infantry Speed Tactic. There's some good units on here for merges. Like this is a crazy ass round. Much better than the last one for sure. But like Power Creek kind of shit, right? So that, yeah, we kind of yeah. saw that coming. Anyway. Uh, thank you, everyone, thank you everyone for stopping by. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to, of course, Baruka. Thank you for joining me, buddy. No problem. Uh, great. Always happy to be here. His link's down in the description below. You should, uh, subscribe and, uh, like, check out his streams that I sometimes join in on. Cough, cough, wink, wink. And, uh, no, no, don't, don't, don't forget to subscribe to me, too. I've got some cra oh, yeah. crazy shit coming up. Like, uh, yeah, no, yeah, a yeah, video yeah, yeah, yeah. with, like, 40... Actually, I've upped it to 42 other, like, 42 Fate Tubers total. So, like, this is gonna be wild, guys, and you're gonna see some shit that you've never seen before on the, on the big collab, so be excited. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is B, we're done, signing off. Bye! See you, everybody. Bye. Later.